<laughs> um, this box was uh three hundred, like two hundred and fifty, I think. So that is our goal. Everything has gone down in this set, so it is a little very rough. Um, we're still hunting for foils. Foils are still super expensive. Um, at least a good chunk of them are. There's a decent amount that are also super cheap now. Um, Orzov Advocates. Dude, this card is great in, um, limit. Like, in what? This is a commander card, but in 1v1, it's so, like, jank. Oh, now this is that fancy cardboard. You fucking bet it is. This is fancy cardboard. For the furries in chat. Elite Cat Warrior. Hey, it's Ily, Eternal Pilgrim, from... Uh, Oath of the Gatewatch in 2016. And we get Sakura Tri Builder. Echoes of Eons and Questing Cosplayer. It's a 2 mana 1 1. When it enters the battlefield, create a questing role token and attach it to target creature. If you control another role, put it in the yard. The quest, the enchanted creature has all the abilities of questing. Holy crap, dude, that card might be really good and limited. Um, depending on what you turn into Questing Druid. Sorry, not Questing Druid, uh, Questing Beast. Speaking of, uh, if someone told me to name all of their, uh, all of its abilities, I surely wouldn't be able to, because it's Questing Beast. Back more Sorceress, this is probably one of my least favorite, um, Future Sight Border cards. This thing is terrible. Pact Taker! Also, like, um, these packs, I don't even feel like I have to cut them because they just, it feels like they're just, like, so buttery smooth, just, like, rip apart. Umbral Metal, great for Krenko Infinite? Yes. Although, if you're playing Krenko, kind of cringe, but, you know, I don't judge. Well, I do judge, but not, not to a point where it matters. Defector, Elephant Ambush. When was the last time you've been ambushed by a freaking elephant? Sky Knight Vanguard. Jump! Now! Alright, Muxus. Goblin Grandy? And we get Sarkon Fireblood. Um. Ooh, I forgot we have yet to hit a foil. We are, um. Almost a third of the way through the box, but the foil does take this next slot. Oh no, it's stuck. We get Gideon, Ally of Zendikar. Oh, I remember when. This, back in like. 2000 and what, like six, fifteen, sixteen. 15, 16? This thing was an absolute menace. This thing, like, slammed hard and fast. Everywhere. Instant. Alright, Wish Call Talisman into Eater of the Dead. This is kind of bad. Alright, we are now one third of the way through the box officially. Armored Ascension. I love this card so much. Because, like, if you play this on turn four and you have, and you're in, like, Mono White, or even if you're in, like, you know, if you have two planes, four mana gives something plus two, plus two, and flying is really good. And especially because it does get bigger. Archway Commons. Ooh, Masaryk Crawl Death Priest from Double Masters 1. And to Card the Great Creator, White Border, and Serum Powder. Not to Lorthos's Temple. So far, kind of mid, but you know, we're doing good. I don't actually think that's true. The issue with Mystery Booster is a lot of the value has already dropped. Like, it's not that valuable anymore, unfortunately. Everything has gone down to the dumps. Good card. Ooh, a Temporal Manipulation. Ooh, Pact of Negation. Oh, dude, if this was foil, that would be insane. Grizzly Fate. Guiltless Commons. Ooh, Tora, Dread Cantor from Modern Horizons 2. And we get Cathar Commando, which is cool. Show and Tell! And Wowzers the Inspirational. Show and Tell is pretty cool. All right. We are two thirds of the way through the box after this pack. And the fact that we don't have any foils, well, I guess we don't have our single foil is a little scary. Because if we hit the, if our box has no foil, then there's almost a guarantee that this box has no way to make back its money. Ignoble Hierarch from MH2. It's like Noble Hierarch, but it taps for Jund. We get Snow Forest. Winds of Change. Mercy Killer. 
If I get creatures, controller sacrifices it, so it gets around indestructible. And then they make a bunch of 1 1s. Alayla, artful provocateur. Abrupt decay into Maddening Hex. This is a cool commander card. And that in uh, 1v1 is also very annoying because it means that your opponent basically cannot um, play non creature spells. Because they'll just eat a bunch of damage. Ooh, Lightning Skelemental. Oh, wait, here, uh... Huh. Automod held a message for a reason. The reason aggression. I will allow this pose. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, exactly. Not just... I'll, I'll sign it and send it to you. Um, it's a good card. You should use it in paper. If you ever play in, like, a tournament. Chain Lightning. And our card... Whoa! Oh my god, okay. Yo... I know I complain about it, but like, we keep... We keep profiting. Okay, how much is this thing? Dragon's Approach is one of the few foils that are only in foil. And this is a cool $150. Let's go! It, if that shows up in your mailbox, you'll burn it? Well... Oh man, okay, so... According to Scryfall, it's $150, but there's listings all the way down to $50 now. And, like, the most... Only three have sold. And the lowest it sold at was 60. So, I mean, 60 bucks for this is still pretty good. Dude, imagine being that person to play Dragon's Approach, but you need to buy, like, 40 copies of that one. That feels terrible. Okay. Bond of Discipline. I think this is where my editor just cuts out the rest it goes and then nothing interesting happened. But hey, maybe we'll find another foil. But white color is full art. Snow covered waist is such a weird thing to get. Yo, we got the soul ring! That was a great pack. If we had soul ring and foil, we might be able to retire and we're never gonna open a box of Mystery Boosters 2 again. Rust Veil, Settle the Wreckage. And two, ooh, Displacer Kitten's an amazing reprint. This is uh, worth a couple bucks. Relentless Assault. Untempo Preachers. Extra main phase. Extra, or, sorry, after this main phase, you get an extra combat. Then an additional main phase. Yeah, the one issue with, like, extra, like, combats is that, um, the funnily enough, a lot of things don't give your stuff haste. So if it like enters tapped and attacking and then you untap it, it can't attack in the second one because it didn't have haste. Swans of Bryn Adol. What the heck is this? Where did this card come from? I have never seen this card before. That's okay, this is a cool card. Alright, Ash Barons. Into Miri's Guile. Ooh, that's like that's pretty good. Miri's Guile used to be like 20, 30 bucks, because it's basically just a, um, Sylvan library. But I think it's down to like five bucks now. In foil, though, this thing could be sick. All right, Sky Crier. Uh, Standard Bearer, Ophidium. Summon Snake, you get to, you get to make a snake. Tormentor, Tortured Existence, Plundering Barbarian, Footfall Crater. Nantuko Elder, Evolution Charm, Kusali Ambusher, Arcadi is the strategist from M19, and Stony Silence in our last card, Aether Vial. Holy crap, Aether Vial is a great card. Unfortunately, it used to be like a $20, $30 card, now it's like 5 bucks, but it's still really good. Alright, well, I'm going to stop my recording for this one, and then I will resume on Arena. Schnee schnapp, schnappy, 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 schnapp. Oh, bop, bop, bop. Schnee, schnappy, 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 schnapp, beine ab.